Hi guys, my name is Annalisa. Thanks for coming to my channel. Today's video I'm unboxing from Kylie Skin, I'm trying out one of their sets uh, for skincare. Um, I am excited to try this product out. Uh, it be the first time I'd be trying from Kylie Skin. I have tried products from Kylie Cosmetics before, but never from Kylie Skin. So this is a first for me. Um, so I will be reviewing, trying out the products for you and uh, giving my final thoughts and impressions on it. So without further ado, let's dive in. So, as you can see, my skin has started to break out just a little bit here. I got a slight bit going on here. This is my usual zone where I have um, acne right in here, down here. So I'm hopeful that this will help try to clear it up. We do have family photos coming up that we're taking, so whew, I don't want them to have to edit too much, but they may have to edit this business going on. So let's open this bad boy up here. So this is a cute pink box here, um, no logo or anything. Um, sometimes they have a logo, but not on this one. Let's try this. A little notice here from Kylie Skin. Hope you love your Kylie Skin products. I'm excited for you to see what we have in store, what we have for you this year. Um, I've already got that here. Uh, it looks like they did give me some samples too with the walnut face scrub, face moisturizer, and eye cream, which is good because I think I didn't get the walnut scrub in the, the mini set that I got. Um, I've heard mixed things about the walnut scrub, um, but I am curious. I think I do got the moisturizer and the eye cream um, in my set that I have. I had to double check. All right, so it looks like it's falling out of the package. But I have the foaming face wash, the face moisturizer, the vitamin C serum, and the vanilla milk toner. Um, this, I think the set was um, $39 for the four. Um, there's one ounce, a half an ounce, 0 0.30 ounce, and one ounce here. So this was a good way to try them all out without buying the full size. Um, I do like travel size stuff. Uh, especially with trying this out. Um, so there. I also did get for free with the order. Um, I got socks. I got to choose from. I got the Carpe Diem socks. And stickers. Now, I was one of those kids that used to collect stickers and never put them on anything. I need to find something constructive to put these on. So... Maybe I'll do a makeup mirror or something like that, but I just, I love them. I just don't know where to put them. So there's that. Let's put that back in the box. And there is pink bubble wrap. There's the box here, which I think is kind of cool. My son would love to play with the bubble wrap. Um, so that's kind of cool. And put these in here. We're watching our Kylie video to see how we... Which order? I want to make sure I'm doing this in the right order. So I naturally went to the Kylie Skin website, and I'm just watching this now. So when it's done, I'll do my face. I went through a lot of samples to get the perfect amount of just foaminess. All right, so we're going to start with the foaming. I wet my skin a little bit. Feels good. All right, so I have my Norwex um, body cloth here. I use these, they help remove my makeup and use them in the shower so I'm going to remove all of the foaming face wash off here. A 
adding motion. I always forget. It's well, I'm going to just, so I'm going to wet my face a little. Um, and then I'm just going to use a little bit and put on my face. I'm going to rub mainly like around my nose. I'm going to avoid the delicate skin around my eyes. It smells really good. We actually put no fragrance in a all right, so here I'm using the Walnut Face Scrub sample from Kylie Cosmetics. Now, I know if you can't see it, the light is dying here. It's almost nighttime. And um, there was the most controversial item is this um, Walnut Scrub in the kit. Now, um, Walnut, if you aren't aware, is um, has been known... Um, by dermatologists um, to create micro tears in the skin. Um, it has been compared to like the St. Ives formula, which um, if you were a teenager at one point and probably have used it, um, I don't use it anymore. Um, it does have a similar, a slightly similar feel to it, but I feel like St. Ives is a lot harsher. This doesn't feel very harsh. This feels... Like, I can feel it working, but I don't feel like it's, like, harsh on my skin, which is good. I don't want it to be super, um, super, uh, harsh. I want it to be a gentle exfoliant. So, um, this, I don't mind. Um, I got, like I said, I've got a little bit of acne here. I'd like for it to help with that. Uh, kind of clear this little up, um, for my pictures that are coming up with my boys. And then uh, we'll get that taken care of. So let's see. What do we do next, Kylie? A lot of our products. So it just smells like pure, delicious walnuts. I'll wash it right off. Okay. Again, we're going to pat, ladies and gentlemen. I like to use it two to three times a week. Even if you do it once a week, like after the week, to just like remove dead skin cells. It really is the secret recipe to soft, delicious Skin. Okay, so now I'm going to use my vanilla milk toner, which smells... Hold your horses. I'm not that far ahead yet. I'm still patting this bad boy off. Uh, I ran out of cotton pads. So I'm using paper towel, which probably isn't the best, but... Oh well. So I can see on here some of the granules from the scrub here. I'm not sure if you can see them all there. But, so next I'm using the Vanilla Milk Toner. Um, it's hard to see. i lost daylight. It is nighttime with my filming. My ring light is only doing so much. But this is the one fluid ounce travel milk, Vanilla Milk Toner. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on a small amount here. I think this will be good. Smells like vanilla. And I'll just tone my skin here. Maybe a little bit more. I don't think I used enough. I like this feel. So the milk toner I like. It feels very nice on my skin. Um, just toning. I don't think there's any alcohol in here, um, which is good. I have to double check, but it feels nice on my skin. Um, so next I'm going to take the vitamin C serum. I can't see, neither can you. I'm so sorry. I should film during the daylight, but I got children and it's hard to film. So, what did we do next, Kylie? Um, I'm actually going to go crazy today and do two. It's for every day. Right when you put it on, it immediately... She put it on her face, so let's... We'll do one pump. Let's we'll see how that goes. Hmm, what does that scent smell like? 
I guess vitamin C. I mean, there's vitamin C serum. Yeah, it does smell like vitamins. I'll do a little bit more. Yeah, I kind of like those off-brand Flintstone gummies. Or like those orange um, chewable gummies. Yeah, that's what that smells like. Immediately like soaks into your skin. That's what I love about this one. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, so it really helps brighten your complexion. So, love this. Then after that, I will use my face moisturizer. I love my face moisturizer because it's not... I don't really like super thin moisturizers. I so this is the face moisturizer um, from Kylie Skin. And to put that on, we're going to do that. Okay. And it has a little peel away, which is good. So I'm just taking a dot. I'm just going to start with my cheek. Around. Feels good. All right, so the last thing I have is the eye cream here sample that I got. Um, this will determine whether I will buy the full set in the future or stick to the minis. Um, the minis, like I said, was a good way to try stuff out. Um, and I'll just lightly dab it here. no scent to it which is I guess good um, it does feel rather a little bit on the thicker side which I don't mind it seems to be blending in well maybe it'll help these bags on my eyes I hope so I haven't been sleeping well all right so I finished the routine here with the Kylie skin Essentially, between the mini, the four-piece mini set that I have and the samples that I got, I ended up getting the full skincare line, which was nice because I didn't know I was getting these samples. So um, um, from that, I'll start from, you know, from start to finish. The foaming face wash was like a thicker consistency. Um, I felt like it did do what it was supposed to do um, and um, get the, you know, the wash out of the way. Um, the walnut scrub, um, I didn't think was that bad. I would probably only use this maybe two times a week. I wouldn't probably use it more. Um, I feel like it might be too much, but it's not as harsh as I expected it to be, which is a good thing. I was expecting kind of a harsher uh, uh, feel on the skin, you know, where you can start to feel the um, micro tears or micro abrasions is what they call it. Um, I felt like I really didn't feel that. I could feel it working. I just felt like it was working and not tearing at my skin like some people have claimed. Now I do have dry to sensitive skin, so I was a little concerned about this, but I'm pleasantly surprised. But I can see if you use it more than two or three times a week, I can see it, it potentially becoming an issue. So that's one thing to know. Um, uh, you know, maybe if you have oily skin, you might be able to do a little bit more. I'm not sure, but for someone who myself has more dry, sensitive skin, um, I'm probably going to stick to this like once to twice a week at most. And then the next item, what did we do next? We did the vanilla milk toner. It had like more of like a liquid consistency and it smelled nice. It felt very clean on the skin. Um, I did like that a lot. Um, the vitamin C serum, probably out of all of them, had the most fragrance, which to me smelled like a multivitamin. Vitamin C, you know, kind of, you're in the, that park there. Um, but it felt really nice um, uh, putting it on my face. And then the face moisturizer, um, that as well. Um, it was a little bit on the thicker side, so you didn't need a whole lot. 
Um, and then lastly, the eye cream. Um, the eye cream was very delicate for my delicate eyes. As you can see, I have terrible bags going on here. So I'm hoping by morning you'll be able to see a difference. Otherwise my makeup is going to have to do magic because it is just evident that I need sleep. And so, um, for, um, this, for, for trying Kylie skin for the first time, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I may actually buy the full big pack in the future, um, for myself. Um, I'm, I'm going to save one of the, the skincare packets for my mom. She'll really like that. But um, I also am excited. Like I said, I got stickers. I got to find a place for them and socks. Carpe diem. Seize the day. And uh, that was my experience with Kylie skin. So um, I'm not mad at it. You know, Kylie, you did a pretty decent job. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. So um, if you um, like this video, don't be afraid to subscribe and like and comment if you've tried any of the products you um, from Kylie Skin yourself. I always am interested to know um, how your experience is. Um, I greatly appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys!